Hi guys, this is an advanced look open boxing of the 2019 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Neon Tech Mark IV Iron Man. Check it out. Uh, this is a Hot Toys uh, piece. It's based on the movie Masterpiece. Um, this is also a diecast piece, which is based on the blueprint from Iron Man 2. So that's really cool. All right, so let's jump right in. First off, this box is absolutely just stunning and eye-catching. I mean, wow. I love the lines on it. Everything looks great. Really cool box. Even if you kept it in the box, it would look cool on your mantle, but we want to jump in, so let's do that. Let's slide this over. Uh, this section actually comes out of the bottom, so we slid that out so you can see. Got the directions here. It was really handy. I've also got, I'll take this off. We've got the base underneath here, which we want to set up so we can display him correctly. Check out this base. It looks like it has a matte black finish. That is really cool. Perfect. Then we're going to set it like this. You can see the Iron Man 2. This is based off of the model or the look from Iron Man 2. Now we're going to get our stand set up. This just kind of slides in here like this, nice and easy. And this actually raises a bit so that you can uh, display him. Okay, now let's grab Iron Man himself. Let's slide this off. Got this. All right, let's take him out. Wow, look at that. Look at that beauty. Let me get this plastic over here. We'll set him up on here so everyone can see. Wow. That is stunning. The gloss on him looks amazing. Great. He's also got all these pads in here. We'll take those off so that we can kind of see what's going on. Do you want to be careful uh, to not pull anything off that's not supposed to come? But these actually, I know when you take these off, it looks like they pop out. So that's pretty cool. They kind of just slide down if you need them to. Let's move these pieces. Go. Another one in here. Okay, come on, baby. There we go. Okay. All right, that looks great. So let's jump. Oh, <laughs> looks like he's uh, got some stuff still here. I... <laughs> okay, it looks like he's got some stuff under his arms. Let's take those out. Let's take this plastic off and get to it. There we go. Wow, all right, I got it. Okay, and there's another one. Oh, this one's coming out a lot quicker. There we go. And we get that off. So now he is finally free from his shackles and we are ready to go. Now, if you look, the articulation on his arms is really pretty amazing. I know there's 30 points of articulation. He can kind of move in any direction that you want him to, which is great because he also has all these attachments for his hands, which we'll jump into. So let's check out some of the accessories. Oh, we've got his uh, hands here. So I'm gonna take that out, bring it over here so you can see. This goes on his right hand, actually. So it's gonna go right here. You can enter, uh, you can change it out. And then it has a, two projectiles, which I can attach so that you can see here. Let me just slide that in there. And that would go like, say, here. And it looks really cool. So there's two of those. Those are really awesome. Put that one back. This is like a projectile hand and the articulation on this hand is really impressive. Look at his fingers. That's amazing. Look at all the points of articulation. You could even put this in like a high five, a peace sign. You can pretty much do whatever you want with it. And then here, if you notice right here, there's a light. Uh, once we put the batteries in him, he completely lights up and his hand even lights up as though he's like repulsing something, which is really cool. So I'll put that back. And this is the other hand that he has. Um, it's more, uh, it's a little wider on his fingers, and it's more open. Uh, and that one also lights up, so that's really cool. So these are really cool. Uh, these uh, go on his arms, and they're basically like a gauntlet attachment, and you can switch them out. Uh, this section, I believe, is the left side, and this is the right side. So let's just take a look at those, shall we? Pull out a couple and show you how that they work. Well, first, let's kind of move his arms out so you can see these. Again, the articulation is really nice. I like how the arms move up, so you can push that in, but if he's moving up, they almost do it for you, which is really cool. Let's move these arms out. There we go. Now, right here, you can see that he actually has, there's three pieces that come off. There's one here, here, and one right here. And if you look in the directions, it shows you which pieces go accordingly for the right side and left. 
you can actually attach this and add a missile launcher there. This one attaches here, and there's another piece which attaches there. Um, so there's four different interchangeable gauntlet uh, attachments for each arm, which is really cool. A lot of fun to play with with those. So, okay, let's put those back. Uh, these ones are really nice. These go there as well. I will show you these. So again, these can be attached. This piece is one that would go here, which adds six different uh, missile launchers. That looks really cool, actually, when you attach it. This one looks like a flamethrower, if we can uh, see that right there. That looks really cool. So you can have like a missile launcher on one and a flamethrower on the other. Okay. Goes back. These are, if you've seen the first Iron Man, these are his missile uh, launchers, like the original missile launchers that he used uh, from Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 2, which is what he's based off of. So these would go on there as well as an attachment, and they can uh, look really cool. They've got all, like, I think like six missiles in there, so that's really cool. Primed and ready to go. Also, uh, his face mask does come off as well. You can see right there, and then it just attaches right back nicely. So really cool piece. Uh, let's just kind of move around with him a little bit and try to test out some of these uh, articulations. Look at his feet, all the movement points. That's awesome. Looks like this even pops out. So, oh, that's really cool. You can see that. So he's got an extra flight booster right there. The other one does the same. There's also a couple, I believe, on his back right here. These pop up. So if you uh, need that extra boost, He's got you covered. And look at that. Oh my gosh, these even open up further than I, than I realized. Wow, that looks really cool. That's awesome. And his legs even move up a little bit. I believe it's uh, 90 degree on the leg right there. So you can go 90 on the legs. Both of those bend pretty good. His arms, you can do more. That's 160 degrees that you can move his arms. Those look really nice. And his, his arm does the same. All right, we've taken the liberty of inserting the batteries, and I'm going to show you uh, where they go and how to turn on each part, okay? So, first off, he has one in his head. So we need to take this off. There's two pieces. You want to take those off. We've got a little switch right here that we're going to flip on. Awesome. That looks so cool. Oh, my gosh. That's legit. I'm going to put this back like so. This. And this piece just kind of pops right back on there. And now you're ready to go. He's got his eyes going. Cool. Uh, let's check out another one. We've got his arms. Hold on a sec. Let me just turn him so that I can do this. Okay. Got that piece off. Whoop. He's already trying to fly away on me, huh? All right. So we've got his piece off. There's going to be a little switch right here. We're going to turn on his arm. So that is now on. And then we're also going to take this hand off. I'll see the light coming through. That's awesome. We're going to switch it out for one of the repulsor hands. Let's do that right now. Put this one on. There we go. Awesome. That looks so sick. Check it out. Cool. All right, let's do it with the other arm real quick as well. Well, first, let's put this piece back on so we can show you how that looks. So that just kind of snaps right back in there. All right, we're going to move his other arm up. Let's pop this piece off. There we go. Got that piece off. Another switch. That's Again, that's where you would put the batteries. Already did that. I'm going to turn this on. There we go. His other arm is on. Put this piece back. Let's take his hand off. There we go. And we're going to put on his other repulsor hand. Which is awesome. There we go. Oh, that looks so cool. Check it out. Okay, so we've got his face on, both of his hands, just one left. I'm going to show you where that one goes. There's actually a spot in his back to get to. Now, what you want to do is you're going to open his uh, back flaps all the way. There's a part right here that we want to get up, okay? I'm going to reach around, try to pop this off right there. There we go. And now there's a switch here as well, and that's also where you're going to put another battery. I'm going to switch this on like that. Let's put his back piece back. Don't want to be exposed. This goes like this. That snaps in. Perfect. We can just put these back down. And now we've got oh, our full 
Iron Man arsenal ready to bear. That looks awesome. So the face is lit up. We've got the chest plate piece, which looks really good. Got both of his hands. Those look really, really cool. Okay. Check that out. That looks great. Wow, that looks awesome. Oh, one more thing. Check this out. You can actually take his chest piece off. Yeah. Check that out. Got the Iron Man heart lit up as well. That looks great. All right, guys, this has been the Neon Tech die cast from Hot Toys. It's the Iron Man Mark IV. Uh, go check it out at the 2019 Comic-Con, and we will see you at the 2019 Comic-Con. Don't forget to let your geek side show. Thanks.